Hi, can you believe it's already time for April favorites? Yeah, April is almost over. I guess it will be over by the time you see this, but for me, it's almost over. And we're looking at May, the first side of May. So I'm excited about that, but I definitely am excited to show you a few things I found that I've been loving throughout the whole month of April. So here we go with April favorites. First, I have to tell you a funny story. It has to do with one of my new favorites. I did a video not long ago, you may remember it, comparing my um, my keep all, my keep all 45 to my um, never full GM and did the same items fit in one as fit in the other and so forth. So basically the idea of the video was to just show the same amount of items and then put those items in one bag and then put those items in the other bag so you could see the difference in, in the way that they were packed which wasn't exactly how I would have packed them. I had several people <laughs> mentioning, you know, you didn't put in underwear. Well, I wasn't really packing for the trip. I was just showing that the same, you know, how the same items fit in one as opposed to the other. That was the plan. But, you know, I did have a couple um, questions on that. So anyway, I also had several people saying, oh my gosh, don't put your shoes in there. You know, you put them in a shoe bag. And yes, I really should have protected my shoes more. And usually I do. I just throw them in some sort of a, like one of those plastic grocery bags or something like that. Um, but for the sake of the video, I didn't do that. And I had a very sweet surprise. And not too long, a few days later, I was checking my um, post office box and I had some a package. And it was very exciting. It was from a subby friend, Kanori. Hi, sweetheart. Um, I laughed so hard, it was perfect. She sent me this adorable set of four shoe bags, zippered shoe bags. Because <laughs> you can see that I needed some, and she's right, I really do. I didn't have specific shoe bags, but I do protect my shoes from the other things in the suitcases when I actually pack to go somewhere. But this is perfect because I don't have anything like this, but now I do. So I wanted to share these with you and show you what how neat they are. They're uh, just kind of perfect, really. They're just travel bags for shoes. They have a zipper, they have a hanging thing. You could also put other things in here that you wanted to protect from other, you know, like maybe your dirty under things or whatever, coming home. Perfect, I think they're absolutely perfect. And I can't thank you enough. I had a good giggle on that. And it was actually just the perfect gift. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> so I wanted to share these with you guys too, to let you know how neat these are very handy and I will be using these a lot for sure. You know how I love Grace, um, not only my dog, grand dog, but I also love the perfume by Philosophy, Amazing Grace and the shampoo and just the smell of it and all the different variations. They have many different variations. This summer they have come out with a few new ones and some are, um, I believe some of them are uh, special editions or whatever, limited editions. But anyway, I found two that I'm already loving and I wanted to share. This one is a Pure Grace Endless Summer. I am wearing this now. I've been wearing this ever since I got it. Oh my gosh, okay. This one is, it definitely has that background of Grace, but Grace is very, um, I don't wanna say powdery, but it definitely has more of a feminine, floral, just fresh, clean kind of a scent to it. This is called Endless Summer. They consider this a bright floral citrus. And I love anything citrus. Mm, it's so good. It's, they say it's got sparkling, ice lychee, pomelo, um, magnolia, and white, um, white, 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 white amber. White amber is this, which I don't know if that means anything to you, but it just smells like summer. It's like you opened up the windows and I don't know, flowers and, and you have some lemonade or something sitting next to you. It's just, ooh, it's not too fruity. It's not too floral. It's just fresh. I love it. So Endless Summer, amazing. And then also soon after I saw that one, I found this and it's, this is a four ounce and this is a two ounce. This is a two ounce uh, bottle that where I, I found this at QVC and it comes with a uh, bottle of oil for the shower. So you're in the shower, you've finished cleaning yourself, you're still wet, you put a little bit of that oil in your hands and rub it all over yourself. And then you just gently pat, you know, pat yourself towel off afterwards and that moisture just stays with you. And the very light scent of this stays with you also. Oh my gosh. This I will be using more in the 
summery, summery months because it's a definitely more tropical kind of a scent. It is tropical summer, pure grace, tropical summer is what they call this one. And it's more of a like a fruity floral um, musk is what they consider this one to be, a fruity floral musk. And it has, let me see if I remember this, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget because I'm terrible at this. Okay, definitely you've got coconut water in there, but then, it, but it's not like coconut sunscreen, it's lightly coconut. So it's, it doesn't seem totally like, you know, you're definitely on the beach, it's just very summery. So there's coconut water and the, the part that, the bright part that gets me is watermelon. You get a little hint of watermelon in there, which I adore. And then they have like a sandalwood to give that that musky, oh. I'm telling you, I absolutely adore this. Love, love, love it. The oil's in my shower right now. <laughs> Forgot to bring it here. But endless summer, definitely. I mean, I just, I wanna spray this all over my house and everywhere else. And the tropical, I'll be using a whole lot more when it gets much more, you know, summery and hot outside, but love them. So grab those, so good. I believe the tropical summer is a limited edition. Not sure about that. Maybe they both are, not positive. Don't quote me. I don't know about you, but I always go through my last summer's things at the beginning of the next summer. And I see like what has, you know, stains or marks or tiny little holes, you know, how I always get those, whatever it is, or, you know, what I'm liking, what I'm not, what fits, what doesn't. And then I try to supplement things, you know, that I need from there. Well, I have a black Pleone top that I have loved and it wears and it wears and it wears and it wears. And it wears. I mean, it just, it's never gonna go away. I love that top. And I thought, I'm gonna see if they have any of these in any other colors. So I was searching and searching and I originally got it at Nordstrom and they do not have this one anymore that I could find, but I did find it at Nordstrom Rack and I bought two colors. So I bought the, I'm not sure what they call this one, but it's this dusty blue. And I also got it in Cypress, which is this, it's a, it's a, cross between like a gray and I don't think it's picking it up too well, but it's a little bit of a deep green kind of a look, but it's definitely like a sagey, dark sagey greenish gray. And I think it's really cute. I love this color with white in the summer, but it's, it's kind of a high low and I, you can just kind of do a little mini front tuck kind of, but the, the back kind of still, you know, hangs lower, which I really like. It's just, it's kind of perfect. It's not too low. You don't have to wear anything underneath it. It's flowy. I just adore it. And I love the one I have in black, so I thought this is perfect. Um, I would pretty much stick with your regular size on these, but you might want to size down. I have I bought the mediums, and um, so that's the one I have in my black, but I, I really probably should have gotten the small, but the medium still works for me. So anyway, that's to let you know how that goes. Um, but I love them, and they're at Nordstrom Rack, so they're cheaper. So grab them while you can if you're interested. Get the black one, though. You will love the black one for sure. I love a good exfoliating peel pad. <laughs> I've been using the ones from First Aid Beauty and the ones from Tom, Thomas Peter Roth forever, forever and ever. And I had these recommended to me and I thought, well, why not? I was ready to replace my others. So I thought I'd try and they're the Lancer ones. Really, really liking them. I just bought a second box. They come, it's different the way they come in this way. They're all individually wrapped, whereas the ones I'm used to are not. Um, you know, my other brands, but they're individually wrapped, little packets, very good for travel. You just, you know, there's a little notch, you just take it out and you just kind of gently go all over your face with it. And I always go up my neck and stuff too. And then anything left I do on the back of my hands, um, like every other day and I'm loving them. So I definitely like them enough to get another box of these. And I'm very excited to have a new set and it is nice to have them that way where they are individually wrapped for travel. And I plan to go places, which mostly will be my parents <laughs> this summer. So yeah, really, really liking these. I just feel like they definitely just, your face feels so just baby smooth and soft. It's it, oh, so, so good. Love them. I have a great viewer friend of mine. We chat all the time. Um, he just cracks me up. I love him to pieces. His name is Lewis. Hi, sweetheart. Um, so anyway, he suggested an eye cream that I had never tried before. He said that, you know, just hands down, I would love it. I'm like, well, okay, I trust your judgment. So I tried it and I do. It is the Shani Darden Intensive Eye Renewal Cream. This is a brand that apparently is well known by celebrities. I don't know what that means necessarily, but that's what I read. And I, I had never heard this before. 
My doorbell's ringing. I feel like I heard a dog bark. I don't think Gracie's here, so let's see. Apparently, a guy came to the door at the exact same moment that Gracie and my daughter arrived, so <laughs> all chaos happened. Anyway, um, he suggested I try this. Apparently, it's well-loved by many celebrities. I thought, sure, I'll give it a try. I do love it. He was absolutely correct. Thank you, sweetheart. Love your suggestion. Feel free to suggest anything else. But it's just this lovely little pump. You just, I just pump a little bit out, like onto my, you know, I usually use my middle fingers. And I just do one of those, you know, and I pat, 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 pat all around here. They say to go all around your orbital bone. And I just very gently just do that. And it's just heavenly. It sinks in. It feels beautiful. I've definitely noticed a lessening of my wrinkles. And I cannot say enough about it. I adore it. I absolutely love it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Lewis. You are the best. Give it a try. I have this habit lately that when I'm home alone, if my husband's traveling or whatever in the evening and I'm just reading or going through the newspaper or the you know, magazines or whatever I'm doing, it gets kind of quiet. Many times I'll have music in the house. Sometimes I just like the silence. Many times I do. But somehow in the evening time, I just sort of want it to seem a little more lively in the house. So my habit has been to be just, I just put QVC on in the room. There are people talking. I can glance up and look at things. So I'm always glancing up and seeing something I think is adorable and giving it a try. <laughs> so I tried these and I am very happy. I've never heard of this brand before. It's called Spenco and it's orthotic bottoms, cushioned, wonderful. And I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. These were on a sale at the time and I needed something like this. It's basically just your easy slip on kind of tennis shoe, but I loved that it has this um, kind of a raffia, whatever you want to call that. It looks like an espadrille sort of. And I love that you don't tie them. These are the elastic, you know, slip on things. It looks like a tied tennis shoe or something. I do that every time. It looks like a tied sneaker, but you know, these are just elasticized thingies here. And there are many different colors. Um, the green ones I think are absolutely adorable. I just can't stand it. But I wanted something plain and I have been wearing the, the jabbers out of these things. And they're very, very comfortable. The very first day out of the box, no socks, put my feet in them and wore them for about 12 hours straight running around all over the place. I got over 10,000 steps that day. So I know I gave them a good, good try. They felt wonderful. So I do have lots of nice things to say about them. They're, they've got a good um, non-slip bottom, very comfortable. So take a look if you're interested. I do recommend that I'm on them and I'm glad I got them. A book that I read recently is called Anxious People by Frederick Backman. And my sister recommended this book. It's just one that she had picked up and was reading and she was telling me about it. I thought, I'll just pick that up. It sounds like something I haven't, you know, it's not the same story regurgitated. You know what I mean? It was different in other words. <laughs> and so I thought I'll try that one and I enjoyed it. It was definitely different just in the way that it's written and so forth. But basically the general idea of the story is that um, there happens to be an attempted bank robbery and the robber runs into an apartment building across the street that is having a showing right now. So all the people that were at the showing of this apartment to be sold um, were, are now hostages and like how they interact with one another and how the their different personalities go and all the different stories behind it all it's it was really neat how it all it all interconnected and it all wrapped up and i just thought it was very interesting and it's if you're looking for something different that is unlike anything you've read in a long long time this is the one um and it goes quickly and it's just easy and i loved it i did i, I enjoyed it very much so i wanted to let you know about that too also, I really enjoyed this. It was a little kind of a documentary kind of a thing. I believe it was less than an hour or maybe right about an hour long. I think it was a little less. Anyway, um, if you have Apple TV, look for The Year the Earth Changed is what it's called. And the whole thing was people, uh, photographers and videographers and stuff were out and about during the pandemic. And they were showing how different nature things had taken back up again like you you know places where you couldn't even see the mountains in the distance all of a sudden you could see the mountains in the distance they're like oh my gosh i haven't seen these the entire time i've lived here all my life there they are so things had cleared up animals were coming into city centers um fabulous fabulous gorgeous footage of penguins walking around downtown <laughs> you know it was just really really fascinating how quickly everything nature-wise just kind of came back 
once we were all in our houses and not polluting and so forth nearly as much. So I just found it beyond fascinating and just watching the, the footage was so, so enjoyable. So anyway, if you happen to have Apple TV, look for the year the earth changed. I loved it. So I do definitely highly recommend that one. Now for my giveaway, I do a giveaway every single month um, when I do my monthly favorites. And this is the one now. Um, I have been trying, uh, gosh, it's been almost a year. It's been a long time since they first came out with Olive and June um, nail polishes. I got the full kit that comes with all the different bits and pieces. But the general idea of this is that you have different beautiful colors, and this is my favorite at the moment. I'm loving this light pink color. Their names usually are just letters. This is HZ, and I believe they are initials of a person. Um, but HZ is what this color is, and I'm just adoring it. It's just perfect for spring. But the polishes themselves are absolutely wonderful. They do have a primer, but I did not get the primer with my kit. So I've just always been using two coats of the polish, and then I've been using the top coat, and then I've been using these dry drops, and I love these dry drops. It's wonderful. It's, it looks like there'd be like a stopper or whatever, but there isn't. It's just you take the cap off, and this is, you, you, know, you drip, drip, drip. Just a drop or two on each nail right after you finish your top coat. Those suckers are dry. I mean, it's really kind of fascinating. But one of the things that they have innovated on these are is this thing called the poppy. See, it says Olive and June. They call this the poppy. And what you can do if you want to have a better grip on things and you feel like you're a little bit shaky with polish, it has your normal, you know, lid as thing. But you can take the lid off by just pulling up on it like that and replacing that with this thing called the poppy. You just slide that on, okay? There, all right? So then when you're doing your nails, See, you've got, the, you've got much more control. You can really grip onto this and you can, I don't know, it's just you do feel like you have so much more control with this on top. So I wanted to share this with one of you. They now, I noticed recently, have several different colors and several of these different items um, in Target, which they didn't before. But anyway, I wanted to make sure one of you got a chance to try it. So if you're interested in trying this set, I would love to offer you your very own Poppy. This color in the HZ, which I really love for spring and summer, the dry drops, which are amazing, and the super glossy top coat. So a set of these, which is approximately a $40 value, will be coming to one of you. Just sign up for my giveaway. Information's down below the video. Click where it says click here to enter the giveaway. And one week from today, I'll be drawing the winner. It's a random draw, the computer does it for me. I will be emailing the winner, we'll chat back and forth, and I'll have this sent out to you as soon as possible. So anyway, thank you so much. If you're interested, make sure you do that. And I hope your April was wonderful and I hope May is even better. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Bye.